Welcome back to the Nerdyverse, I'm Danny. I'm Cheng. And here we are then for some more Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, episode three. And I really enjoyed that last episode. That last episode was crazy <laughs> um, to, to find out about the past and find out how he lost his arm and his leg. Uh, and yeah. how obviously his brother's lost his entire body. It's oh, mate, it's brutal to think like it was, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, it really is. When you think about it, so I could I could totally understand why people when they watch Full Metal Alchemists get hooked because that's just like straight away going, oh wow, it's like a big shock factor straight at the beginning. You know, it's, it it feels like it's not going to pull any punches, and we're going all the way. You know, it's very I suppose real is what I'd call it, like. They're probably not afraid to kill people off as well, to be honest, I should imagine. It's that kind of thing, mm. but yeah. Um, I so... think it's probably one of the first anime, I think, which had a lot of shocking stuff in it. Mm. Um, like I, w I won't go into them you know, yeah. for obvious reasons, but yeah, I feel like there were a lot of shocking moments in the series. And I don't think there were many other animes which kind of did that around that time. But Yeah, so I'm... I'm dead excited to continue uh, on. So before we go into the episode then, really quickly, uh, you know, obviously if you want to keep seeing more of these reactions to Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, then please make sure to hit that subscribe button. Uh, if you're watching us on Patreon, then uh, welcome to Patreon. You're watching this four weeks earlier than the people on uh, YouTube. But if you're watching on YouTube, the great news is if you want to watch it early, go to the Patreon and you can watch this and ReZero early. Um, by four weeks but um, either way we appreciate the support whichever way you're doing it and hopefully you're enjoying these reactions so shall sure. we get started yeah let's jump into it okay on three two one one let's, let's go. go right here we go wait is this some sort of italian guy with a big mustache Oh, Jesus. Well, <laughs> it's just ruined that guy's freaking radio. Um, okay. Wait, Alchemy can just fix technology? Wait, I didn't know it could do that. So did, did it trade... did exchange for it, though? Yeah, That's did what it... I don't understand. Did it exchange itself for itself? I don't know. Like, I don't know, because... I thought you Maybe need, like, it, materials or something to make the exchange. But... I don't know, unless it's a case of like exchanging the broken one with a fixed one. I mean, that doesn't sound like an equal exchange. <laughs> True. <laughs> it's not full metal! <laughs> Just because he's metal. <laughs> I love how they the take... One thing he hates. I know, I love the fact they take the mick out of his height. Uh, so the city of heresy is called this episode then. Yeah, I don't think I like uh, the, the, this is going to be interesting. A guy that's just preaching. Mm. Uh, yeah, I thought so. Um, yeah, he looks dodgy. <laughs> he reminds me of the character I hate in Berserk as well. There's a priest character in that that I absolutely freaking hate. And I feel like this guy's going to be equally as annoying and What's corrupt. that red stone? The Philosopher's Stone? It did look that way, didn't it? Yeah. I mean, I'm going off Harry Potter logic, but the Philosopher's Stone is red, right? <laughs> well, yeah, I'm pretty certain it is. Unless it is just yeah, a stone ring, that can be like, Yeah. I'm like, is that it? Yeah. They found it, yeah, okay. Maybe, yeah, maybe it is. Who is she? God, please listen to my wish. Mr. Leto? <laughs> Jared? <laughs> yeah, I was about to say. Wait, hold it. Mr. What? I said Mr. Is that a man? What do you mean? They're talking about Leto, not her, not her. Oh, right, I was going to say, I was like, what? <laughs> God's sake, always taking the mick out of the guy's height. I feel for him, man. I feel for him. God damn. 
<laughs> you do. <laughs> you take it personally. <laughs> yes, I do. Yes, yes, I do. Yeah, she is completely bamboozled by all this chemistry. Oh, God. Thoughts and prayers. Just believe. <laughs> oh, God. Believe it! As Naruto would always say. <laughs> I think he's already suffered enough, don't you? Yeah, I don't no, think no. <laughs> any more punishment's going to be any worse than what's happened to him and his brother. I don't know about that. <laughs> oh, I, I know that. More. I I know that this anime probably won't hold back. I'm pretty sure it won't. I don't know why, but like Edward's outfit's giving me very Dante vibes, like his like coat, <laughs> or just the red coat. Yeah. This guy gives just, me weird vibes. I don't like him, mate. I don't yeah, like him. He's aware of them, man. No, not the man in the armor. <laughs> God damn it. I'm guessing that's going to be a joke. Okay. They're just going to keep going. So they are scheming something. Yeah. I mean, this looks like a dodgy location, doesn't it? Come on. I know, right? <laughs> I mean, Edward is quite short. He's shorter than her. Oh. <laughs> That's convenient. <laughs> I do love how, like, yeah, I'm going to say, pulling a gun on him, Ooh. probably not the best <laughs> idea. Metal fist to the face. I, I don't know what they were thinking, trying to like uh, uh, hold gun at him and thinking it would go well. Yeah, <laughs> they'd shoot like the brother and then just bounce off the armor and deflect back at him, probably. That is not a miracle. <laughs> Is it the Philosopher's Stone? It's got to be, because it, it, they highlighted it and went bingo, didn't they? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah. But that won't be big enough for what they need, will it? They're going to need more of that, I think, surely. Yeah. I'm wondering, like, is... Is the Philosopher's Stone supposed to be like big and like these are just like small fragments or is that Yeah, well he yeah. just said it's a part of it, didn't he? So I'm, I'm assuming uh, they've got to get like, yeah, yeah, all of it. Probably. Uh, really? Ah, uh, she won't be stupid like that. She won't be that stupid. What? Nah. Yeah, I'm going to say, she won't do that. That's... No. You know what? Who cares about God's words? <laughs> I knew he gave me bad vibes. Yep. Don't do it. Don't listen to this idiot. Oh, God. Why would you listen to him? He's clearly a freaking delusional man. Oh, yeah. Shoot the one that's made fully of metal that's not even real. Well... Is real, but you're not in. <laughs> why, why would he correct them? <laughs> <laughs> why would she point the gun at the one that they can actually hurt now? <laughs> they should have just let him shoot the brother. What the? Oh. Hell? Oh. oh. I mean, you're lucky that he's not even a real person. Like, wow. As if she did it, though. What the hell? <laughs> yeah. I mean, um, even so, she shot an armoured like, suit of armour. Like, what, what, what would the bullet have done? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As if there's a cupboard for trapdoor lever or something. Oh, what the hell is this? 
Freaking lion. Oh, is it Chimera? Okay. Chimera. Yeah, these things are freaking annoying to fight in any game ever. <laughs> like, I myself a snake for a tail. Yeah. Well, they're a mixture of monsters, aren't they? That's the whole point of them. So they're like, yeah. you know, they'll have a snake that might have like, I think that one's got eagle feet, the looks of things. Yeah, you know? I think it's like a snake, a lion, and a... And like an eagle or whatever it is. It's some kind of bird. Mm. Come on then. Come on, Edward. Show us how it's done. Oh, nice. It's just all metal, isn't it? <laughs> isn't that his non metal arm that he just gave him? No, that was the metal one. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, it is, yeah. Oh, it's so cool, man. <laughs> that was a good, cool frame. It is nice, yeah. <laughs> I love the random English bit. Full Metal Alchemist. It reminds me of like those arcade games. Yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. Continue. <laughs> Continue. Ready for round one. <laughs> Jin Kazuma versus <laughs> This guy needs putting in his place, man. I know, right? Yeah. No, wait, Jeez. did he just yeah, <laughs> conjure yes, he a mini gun? Yes, he did, yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> Ooh. Oh, I hear that hero music. As if he's just got a Gatling gun, man. <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Paw! <laughs> and he just goes through. Why do all these priests have guns? I know, they feel like they're more like the Russian Mafia or the freaking... I know, right? Like, or the Italian Mafia. Oh, what the hell is that? <laughs> <laughs> I would be running too. <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> <laughs> what is with that animation? <laughs> it definitely reminds me of the old school anime. I mean, I know this is old anyway, yeah, so yeah. but it does remind me of the old anime when they used to do all that kind of animation. Oh, stop bringing this back to us, it hurts. <laughs> it hurts! Oh, it was a massive price. I mean, I still don't think that that's an equal exchange. Yeah, I don't know what they're going to be able to do. Maybe it would have been enough to like bring back a kid, but because they were bringing an adult, maybe it wasn't an equal exchange. I suppose it's worth giving it a go, though, isn't it? I don't really understand how they're planning on actually getting their bodies back, though. I think it is to do with the Philosopher's Stone. They need that as the that's the difference they needed, wasn't it? That. Well, even like the stone would count as. Yeah, because I feel like the Philosopher's Stone, mate, it's got because of how much power it has, even in a small amount that these have. Yeah, I feel like it would be quite highly valuable. Okay. Oh man, what is it with priests in loads of stuff, man? <laughs> it's like, always what is the it fucking with them? priest that it. Edward looks bored already. <laughs> it's just like, ah, come on. He doesn't want to run the place for you. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> <laughs> As if he ousted himself that easily. <laughs> That's brilliant. 
<laughs> Just the face palm. <laughs> <laughs> the guy with the freaking coffee shop. <laughs> oh, yo. Nice. Who voices uh, Edward Ulrich, by the way? I'm not sure. I recognise that voice. It. Yeah. Oh, God. I mean, part of me nearly wanted to say Naruto, but I'm like, can't be. Let me listen to the voice, see if I recognise it. Oh my god, what the hell is this guy now? Some guy out of Resident Evil. <laughs> Ooh, baby. Oh, nice. Clay fist. Get... <laughs> Get destroyed. Oh, is it over? Oh, nice. Oh, no. And it's broken. Was it a fake or something? Maybe. Wait, is it because it's been used too much or something? Oh, it was a fake. Oh, okay. Yeah, so they're searching for the real one, then, aren't they? That's what they're trying to find. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for oh, God's God. sake. Really? Why? What is wrong with her after Oh, yeah, well, you were lied to. Yeah. And unfortunately, that's just the way it is most of the time. Oh, God, she's not going to do something, is she? Oh, she... can they take the gun off her, please? Yeah, I was going to say. Take the gun. Mm, don't. Oh, she's got the gun. She's got the gun. And they're not going to take the gun? I'm guessing she didn't do anything stupid then, I think. I don't know. Hope not. Oh, oh. oh those are the characters we saw before, isn't it? Yeah. Was it with the Ice Alchemist or something? Or yeah. A different one. Oh, so she's called Lust, he's called Gluttony. Wait, we got seven deadly Maybe. sins again. Maybe. Well, he's dead. <laughs> Ooh, what is that? What is that symbol? It's uh, definitely significant. I can't remember what it is, though. <laughs> Why does Gluttony literally look so... Oh, Jesus! <laughs> the oh, he's got it on his tongue. He ate the nice. priest. <laughs> well, there we are then. That is episode three done. Wow, that was a that was a good episode. It's it's quite sad though that they're still just trying to find a, a stone, but obviously that was a fake. So on to the next one then, I guess, to try and find the real one. But it looks like there's something going on with the. I think there's definitely sounds like there's some sort of seven deadly sin sort of thing going on here. Like, you know, to have yeah. lust and gluttony already, it would only mean that we're going to have the rest of them, right? So greed and all the others. Yeah. But, um, yeah, uh, it, it definitely has got Seven Deadly Sin sort of inspired stuff in this series. So, yeah. Um, a lot of anime seems to do that, though, doesn't it? Like, I've noticed a lot... Of re I mean, I don't know if it's a recent there are amount that I'm watching. Lot. There's a lot that use the no, Seven Deadly it's, Sins. It's a very common sort of, um, sort of thing used in anime series. There's loads I've seen which has, like, 
aspects of it. Yeah. But so, yeah, I really, I really enjoyed that. That was a really good episode. You said you recognise the voice. Can you can you think who it is? Because I think I know who, who uh, it is. I right. It's, it it's got to be either... All right. I went Naruto first, but I think I'm wrong. I don't think, think it is. So I think is the voice actor someone out of Attack on the Titan? Not that I saw. Um, right, okay. Potentially. Who the freaking hell is it? Oh, they are in it. Oh, they are in Attack on Titan. Attack on Titan. Attack on Titan. Oh, God, I'm trying to think who it is in Attack on Titan. Because I recognise the voice. It's doom and nothing. Uh, God, okay. Go on then, give me some characters. Who, who, who is he? Well, okay, actually, they were in Naruto as well. So, apparently, it's Tamari in Naruto. Uh, ah. Bleach, it was Toshiro. And Attack on Titan, it might be Hange. Oh, that's where I recognise the voice from then. I think. <laughs> Wait, hold it a minute. Apparently, looking at this, he was also the same person that may have done... Um, it's a woman who uh, was the voice actor. Oh, I've got someone completely different then. I'm just going to ignore that. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, yes, coming back to it, I really enjoyed that episode. That was a really good episode, that was. Um, really, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm just loving this. I'm loving the bit of the, the mixture of the, the dark theme to it, the comedy elements. Um, I think uh, it's just really, yeah, it's quite nice. And it's quite sad, man. They keep going back to their, uh, or, you know, the origin story of why they're doing what they're doing. And it, uh, the more and more you think about it, more you just like, oh man, these yeah, kids. Yeah, but I'm just worried about what they're trying to do because, like, they're trying to get their bodies back, right? But isn't that just going to be more human alchemy? Like, yeah, is it going to go wrong be... again? Yeah, yeah could isn't go that wrong just again? literally proving that they haven't learned their lesson if they're just trying to fix human alchemy with more human alchemy, like? Yeah, I don't know. This this sounds like a bad idea. <laughs> I feel like though they're at they're at a point now where they don't care if it works or not. It, uh, nothing mm. nothing could be worse than what's happened right now if that makes sense because they're in pretty I mean, much. I'm pretty sure it can get worse. Like, uh, uh, yeah, he's but only I think... lost one arm and one leg, and his yeah, but I think he feels guilty. I think he feels guilty. I think he feels guilty. Yeah, definitely. But at the same time, I feel like this is potentially just going to make things worse, right? So. That's what I'm concerned about, but yeah, I'm excited to see uh, what direction this goes. I wonder if we're just going to be seeing like random sort of standalone events and stories like we had this episode, or if it's going to be into like a more sort of direction. I, I feel, feel like, like the deadly sins might play a bigger role in things, so I'm not sure if it's going to be seeing little plots that they have set up, or if we're going to be like diving straight into like their story and what they're up to. I have a feeling that the Seven Deadly Sins are with the bits behind everything, but they'll be doing like a kind of like now and again, they'll be doing a little mission here and there that get, tries to get yeah. them closer to getting the Philosopher's Stone, but then Lust, Gluttony, all the others that are probably sitting behind a lot of uh, a lot of it. I have, a, I have a feeling that surely these sins have got something to do with the Philosopher's Stone at the end of it all. I don't know what, maybe they have got it, and uh, I don't know. But... Um, mm. Really excited to continue. So uh, hopefully you all enjoyed it as well. Let us know in the comments what you thought. And uh, we'll see you for episode four next. Cool. Cheers, guys. Bye.